Have you ever wanted to know how to work the ball? Hit that draw or hit that fade that you need to have in the bag? Well, today we have Working the Ball 101 with professional golfer Kate Smith here. Make sure you stay tuned if you are one of those players that needs to know how. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol with Second Swing Golf, joined by Kate Smith, a professional golfer down here at the Second Swing at Dallas store. Kate, uh, this is going to be a fun one today because uh, we are talking about working the golf ball, and by that we mean hitting fades, hitting draws, hitting low shots, high shots, uh, the things you know how to do uh, that maybe our viewers don't necessarily know, uh, you know all about that. So um, first of all, as a pro player, can we just maybe talk about why it's important? Why someone like you that's a better player, uh, that's trying to make birdies out there, you need to know how to work the ball and you know, hit various different shots on the golf course. Yeah, so obviously we all have like a predominant shot shape. Um, mine is a cut and it's kind of the swing I have, it produces that, but um, you know, dog leg lefts or when the wind comes into play, it's definitely good to have um, that shot in the bag. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, if you watched a couple weeks weekends ago, Max Homa said that his swing coach allows him to hit two draws uh, a day. I'm kind of like that. I'm not working the ball all the time, but there's a few times out there yeah. where you really need to be creative and um, it kind of makes golf a lot more fun if you can do it as well. Yeah, I think that's the tricky part. I know if, for a long time I was, all right, I'm gonna be able to hit this fade right now. If I need to hit a slice or a fade, I can do that. Yeah. And in the last couple of years, it's completely flipped on me. So I could use some help in this department. So uh, I think what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna have a little bit of fun with this. Again, working the ball one-on-one. So we're gonna get a little bit of tutorial from you on a fade a draw, and then even maybe that low shot that a lot of people, uh, you know, you have the right idea, put the ball back in the stance, you know, but how is it really done by someone that knows how, right? And then the nine shots of golf. And so explain what the nine shots of golf are maybe, and then we'll maybe play a little game with it. Yeah, so I think, um, you know, a lot of people, old, old swing coaches say that if you can accomplish the nine shots of golf, you're, you can be a good player. So it's pretty much, you know, the high shot, the stock shot and the low shot in a uh, fade, a uh, straight ball and a hook. Mm -hmm. So um, nine shots, kind of like a tic-tac-toe board. Uh, for me personally, you know, some days I can't get them all. Um, other days, you know, I go through nine of them pretty quickly. So we'll see what I have today. Perfect, let's get after it. All right, so Kate, let's, just to, to make it easy for you, we'll start with the predominant shot that you like, the fade. Yeah, of Cut. course. So, uh, I know a lot of people out there, I mean, I think most amateur golfers struggle with a slice more than anything. So mm -hmm. if I have a little bit of this in their game already, they don't know it. But talk to me about if you have to hit that fade, you know, whether it's a tee shot or whether it's an iron shot, how are you setting up for that to execute that kind of left to right curvature? Yeah, so um, like I'm a super visual person. So yeah. I think one way that I like to think of bow shots is kind of like um, you're playing ping pong. Yeah. Um, so your paddle, it, is your right hand mm -hmm. it, and the club face is pretty much the same thing. So okay. in order to hit that fade, we need to have the paddle stay open through impact. Yeah. Um, and then there's a few things we can do with our body that help that path um, stay there. So we're looking for, um, you know, an out to in path yeah. to make that cut. Okay. So um, I set up pretty standard, you know, ball is maybe a little bit in the front of my stamp. Yeah. Um, and I'm just making sure I'm, Kind of finishing a little bit higher and keeping that club face open. Okay, so you're almost you're holding that face open through to just to ex, ex, you know exaggerate. All right, I'm not closing this face; it's going to stay open. Right Absolutely. Now. So I usually work with my hands a lot yeah. when I'm working the ball. It's not a uh, it's not for everybody, but yeah. you know if you have good hands, I think it's definitely yeah. not something you want to stray away from. So. Yeah. All right. See what I got. There it is. That's sure a cut. Sure enough. That's a cut, yeah. right on command. Look at that, easy. So now, and you said that's a stock shot, I guess, or, or, not a stock shot, but like your natural swing kind of creates that. Um, is that, you kind of just feed into that? Like if you know you're gonna hit a cut most of the time you swing, you just kind of go with that on most swings? Yeah, so this is pretty much my stock swing. I, uh, I don't change it too much, I, I know I have um, a little bit of that out to in. Yeah. Um, I prefer it just because how it receives on the greens. Yeah, um, right. It's how I can kind of visualize the shot. So, um, and okay. then it plays into how do you play the hole, you know? If, yeah. it's a, if it's a back right pin, that's kind of a go pin for me. Yeah. But if it's a back left pin, I'm probably aiming to the middle of the green. Yeah, I see, I see, okay. So, 
Uh, could we quickly tr switch to a draw here? How easy of is that going to be? Yeah. Yeah. So kind of going back to that um, ping pong mentality, uh, you know, if you're putting more spin on it left to right, you're keeping that that paddle open, yeah. um, trying to turn the ball over. We're um, got to get that right hand over the left. Yeah. Um, so I kind of set up so that I can kind of help myself cheat that system yeah, a little bit. Sure. So a little bit farther back in my stance. Um, I drop that right foot back a little bit, sure. try to make sure my shoulders are square. Um, and I'm just making sure I'm finishing left and I'm turning the right hand okay. over. There it is. Little baby draw. Yeah, pretty good. Gosh, it's like you're, you're a pro golfer or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now the fun one here that I think, you know, for someone that might be a a golf purist or a, you know a shot shape artist or a wannabe shot shape artist is the low kind of stinger shot so yeah. um especially in windy conditions we're down in texas i think the wind will pick up here quite a bit sometimes uh talk to me about how you know let's say you got to hit this you know seven iron into the wind right into a 15 mile an hour breeze or something how would you play that shot yeah so this is the shot i play all the time um I, I mean, you can get through a whole round hitting 80% of these shots. Um, so for me, you know, you get the yardage, maybe it's 150 yards. That's a seven iron. Yeah. I would take a six iron and hit this shot. So it's kind of my, um, you know, club up and hit it low shot. So um, back of my stance again. Um, the biggest part of this one is the finish for me. Um, you know, I think a lot of players talk about that is like how high you finish is yeah. how high the shot goes. So yeah. I'm trying to stop that finish as quick as I can. And the trick to it is making sure that you aren't, aren't stopping and finishing left. In order to hit it straight, yeah. you got to hold off that finish as low to the ground as you can. Okay. Jeez. Yeah, that is holding off the finish. <laughs> yep. Yeah, a little lower, a little yep, left. Definitely. But I mean, you're under 60 feet in the air with that peak height. And, yeah, I mean, that's – and I, I don't know if you saw the club throw, by the way. Uh, we'll have to get a, maybe a different shot of the club twirl, but that was pretty cool. So we've got, why don't we just do the high ball too, if, if you got a, if you yeah, got a high course. ball. So let's do that. Why don't we, we'll cover all the bases there. Uh, so now on the flip side, this may be like, I guess, where would you even hit, you know, like let's say you really want to get something higher than you normally would. When or where would you do that? Yeah, so typically um, a lot of elevated greens would be where that shot is called for. Okay. Um, or, you know, you're behind a tree. You know, sometimes we oh, miss hit yeah. it and we're... Suppose, uh, yeah, well, so, some of us do more than others. Yeah. Like myself. <laughs> so this one's just uh, pretty simple, a little bit higher in the stance. And, I, you know, the thing that I always harken back to is, like, the more I hit down on it, the more it's going to go up. So I'm making sure that I'm having a really smooth swing, um, you know, allowing that cl club to turn over, um, yeah. body to turn, you know, like really good full turn. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of... And look at that, almost 100 feet on that one. So we went from, that was cool, because we went from 56 feet on the last yeah. shot to 95 feet for a peak height on this one. So, that was great. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's fun to, I'm going to just pull up these just for fun, because Perfect. it's fun to see the different numbers on each shot. Yeah. Because we started, you know, this was your, uh, your cut, the draw, and then we went to the low shot and the high shot, and you can just see all these things change, right? The, the launch angle, for example, was eight degrees difference in the low shot versus the high shot. So, uh, and then the curvature, right? Your cut was 41 to the right, your draw was 17 to the left. So, uh, kudos to you for hitting the shots the way that they're supposed to be hit. Thank so, you. <laughs> um, so now it's kind of the fun part where we play the game. So um, the way I think I envisioned this going was just to see how many shots it takes you to complete the nine shots of golf. All right. You know, so uh, we can start with whatever one you want to hit, but sounds good. You know, I, I'll leave the floor to you at this um, point. Um, let's see. We'll go. We'll go low, low cut first. Low cut. Okay. We'll go low, medium, high. We'll finish with the high draw. Okay. Okay. So you're yeah. going all the cuts right away. Um, we'll do all the low ones right oh, away. All the low shots right away. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna start with the low cut. Got ya. This is my favorite. Yep. Low cut. Check. <laughs> Got it. All right. We also should probably put a threshold on the curvature for the straight ball because I think a so straight too. ball, a dead straight ball is not really like, I mean, 
it's, yeah, it's, it's a little extremely tough. hard to achieve. So if it's relatively straight, we'll give it to you here. Yeah, you can be the judge. You're the line judge. Left. Oh. That's fine. Okay. I think, you, I think you maybe caught it a little bit fat. Yeah, I but did. That's, that's okay. That's, just, <laughs> that's a low straight ball. We have a, a generous, generous we're, we're, audience. We're two for two. Yeah. It's a low draw for a high cut player. So we are challenging ourselves today. It started out to the right. a little too far left. Oh, okay. no. Oh, that's pretty. Thank you. Yeah, that's perfect. All right. Wow. Oh, well, we're three for three. So we'll go back to the stock cut. So kind of the, yeah, the stock uh, launch and height, if you will, here. Yeah, so. so probably around 70 it might be. Oh, I could definitely see the cut finish there. Yeah, hopefully. There it is. It's All cutting. Right. It's cutting. A little bit. Yeah, I mean, you have over 20 feet of curve to the right. <laughs> So okay, so we'll that give it counts. To you. We'll give it to you. <laughs> All right. I think you would. I think you would prefer to have it a little bit more. Yeah. Right. But it's cutting, so yeah. we'll give it to you. All right. This is like the hardest putt in golf, like the hardest shot in golf. Yeah. Dead the, straight. The, the, the dead straight ball. Yeah. See what we can do. Still a little curve on that. I don't there know. There is some curve. So the the, <laughs> the only problem is I gave you the cut for 22 feet of curve to the right. So I kind of have to be a little picky on I think 21 feet of curve to the right. I think that's a fail. <laughs> I think we yeah, tried. It's a really good golf shot. I mean, you're, all, yeah, you're, it just, is. you're right on, basically on the center line, but. Try it again? I think so. Yeah, we'll try I one. So I think you can narrow down that curvature. I think so too. I should also note this is me being pretty picky, but. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, that's much that. better. That's so good. I love on the track, man, when the line comes yeah, down you, on the yep, same yep, line. Yep. Yep. See, look at this. Seven feet of curve to the right on that one. Yeah. That'll work. All right. So now the, uh, the draw. I see some extra ball speed. Means that, yep. Yeah. Ooh, 19 feet at left. What do you think? You think so? I think so. That's think pretty that's good for me. It's definitely a draw. I mean, that's not even a question. So. Yeah. Yeah, let's go with it. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, we're to the high balls. The high cut. These might be tough. <laughs> I think you can do it. High cut's pretty good. If you good. can hit a ball on command with seven feet of curve, trying to hit it straight, I think you can do this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep. I think that works. We should also hear it. What I'm going to do is see the, the threshold for height we have to get to. Perfect. Because, let's see, the last three before this, yeah, they were... Let's go 90 feet. So they got to be 90 feet in the okay. air. Okay. Let's go with that. Now with 96, that works. Yeah. The uh, uh, the stock ones there were 86, I think. 80. So in the 80s. So yeah, when we get I to the 90s, so. it'll be high enough. All right. High straight ball. That's a good ball. It is. How much cut do we got? We got 20 feet of curve. I gave. I see. That's the problem. So is I gave you. Again. I gave you 19 feet for the for the draw. I think it was. So I think. Okay. We'll, that's the thing, though. The 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 straight ball is the tough one. Height was good, though. Yeah. Oh yeah. You're plenty good on the height. So I think we can get there. That high finish. Yeah, we're trying. Oh no. Oh, just a little bit more curve. Okay, so we're up to like we've had two misses on this one. So, I mean, you're, you're still kicking a complete <laughs> butt for anybody else that would try this. We'll try one more time. Three, three strikes, we're out. Ah, well, yeah, <laughs> maybe for this one in particular. <laughs> Ooh. You know what? That counts. That's good. Yeah. That's pretty darn straight. Ooh. That's pretty darn straight, actually. Yeah, that was pretty good. Okay. Yeah. So you just got to put yourself under the pressure of three strikes and then, and then you deliver. <laughs> one more left. Yep. Okay. The high draw, which is actually a tough one. The high draw is tough. High draw and the low cut are like yeah. the, the tough ones for sure. All right. Closing the stance up here. A little chunky. Is that going to help it? It's, it's got the draw. It's just not quite high enough. 
right. I think that's I think that is just because it was a little fat. But. Yeah, I agree. I'll try one more time. Oh yeah. Oh. Yep. Done it. We yep. did it. We it did like, it. That was that was impressive. Thirteen. So 14 I think you shots. missed you missed three total. Okay. So you twelve. Yeah. Yeah, you got it in twelve tries. The nine the Whew. nine shots of golf in twelve shots or twelve swings. That's pretty impressive. Thank you. It's pretty impressive. So worked up a sweat. Well, yeah, I was I was it's warm in these bays for one, <laughs> but also I mean, it, it's not easy to put together the nine different shots of golf in 12 swings. So, yeah. um, I think that's, this is, a, this is a cool video though, because someone like you who, a pro player, kind of thrives on working the ball different ways, and we got to see all of it at once here. So, um, I think, you know, to kind of wrap it up, I almost want to get your feedback on maybe if you have any recommendations for players trying to learn how to do it, like, should they go to the range and just beat some balls that way? Or how do you want maybe go to the course and visualize certain shots? What do you recommend there? Yeah, I would try two different things. I'd say definitely start in the range, just experiment, try to hit, you know, a different shot for each swing and know that you're going to fail. You know, there's <laughs> going to be a lot of failure with it. Um, so that's one way to do it. I think another way um, is to play, you know, rounds of golf, not for score. Yeah. And just see how many shots you can hit as far as like, you know, all the greens are shaped to kind of receive a certain shot. So yeah. like, can you hit that shot? Um, and I think a good thing to note is like, this is like a great way to make your practice fun. And yeah. it also for me, like I do it on the range almost every day because it helps me get my tempo. If I can't get those draws, then I, my tempo is too fast. Like, so, yeah. so for me, it's almost like a cleanse of my swing every day. Yeah. It's like, okay, can I do it all? And then now I can go back to my stock shot. So. Just because you can do these doesn't mean you have to put them into play right away. Well, Kate, thank you very much for joining. This was really cool to see. Uh, I, it was entertaining, but also I learned a lot. And maybe I'll try to do this later. Uh, and maybe I'll try that nine shot challenge uh, soon. So stay tuned for that, golfers. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time.